Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the glow, applause and aliveness of those of you who have the sun located within your 12th house, within your natal birth chart, but also for those of you who have the sign of Leo ruling your 12th house within your birth chart as well. However, before we do get started, make sure that you give this video a like if you like it. Also make sure to subscribe if you have not already and to click that little bell icon in order to keep yourself updated with further content from myself. And one more quick thing to mention, if you would like to know more information all about your sun sign, your sun house, along with your fifth house and your Leo house within your birth chart, then I have created a Leo season slash archetype ebook. So what I am going to do is I'm going to provide a link to that ebook in the description box below so that you can pick up your copy today if you would like. Okay, so with all those introductions out of the way, Sun in the 12th house and Leo ruling the 12th house individuals, let's do this. Okay, so if you have the sun in your 12th house or the sign of Leo ruling your 12th house, then what this suggests is that you're someone who might feel the most like yourself whenever you're alone or whenever you're out of the, the public eye. And the same could be said when it comes to your creativity as well, because you seem to come up with the most creative ideas whenever you're just spending time with yourself. You might be somebody who enjoys writing stories or somebody who enjoys creating characters or you might enjoy painting or producing music or singing for example but whatever creative outlet it is that you have it's these things that you really like to do whenever you're behind the scenes or whenever nobody is watching you and whilst you are creating you seem to get all of these inspirational hits and these even downloads that you may even get from the collective unconscious or from these sort of spiritual realms. And it's all of these types of things that you may pour into your creativity. You may just be somebody who just feels so uplifted by all of the many expansive creative ideas that you have. And so, Really, I feel like you guys are highly, highly creative people, but here's the catch. The moment that somebody else takes a little peek at whatever it is that you're creating or whatever it is that you're producing, you might swell up inside. Your inner world might act all chaotic as your emotions feel tangled up and knotted. Why might you ask? Well, it could be for many of reason, but reasons, but maybe partly because now you're in the spotlight. Now others are judging your performance, they're judging your creations. Now others can tell you either good job or they can tell you that you suck and that you have zero talent. So in this respect, you might either completely shy away from the spotlight as you sort of withhold your creations and your self-expression from other people altogether, kind of also further leading towards you making yourself invisible or you might become overwhelmed and over consumed by all the many opinions from other people and by the views that others hold towards you and towards your creativity and if it is that you sort of drown in this sea of other people's opinions and their views what you might have the tendency of doing is shifting and changing yourself in order to suit their opinions and views. Further possibly resulting in you losing yourself where you then find it hard to make your own decisions or where you struggle to think for yourself or where 
you start to change things about yourself even that are just so out of touch with your own authenticity. And if this is the case, Sun in the 12th house, Leo ruling the 12th house individuals, you might rely on other people to help you shine or glow, which we all know is not the most healthiest way to go about this and besides how the hell are you supposed to merge yourself according to every single person that you think matters that's impossible and i'm sure it's draining and it's exhausting and to be quite frank most of the people that you shift your personality for aren't even worth your time so maybe it would be beneficial for you to learn the beautiful art of not caring about what other people think of you. And also, what use is it to you to step back and hide away if it is that you choose to do this? What, what purpose is you hiding yourself away? What purpose is that serving you? Okay, perhaps it is that you've convinced yourself that your creativity or your singing voice or your dance style or your self-expression is not all that great. Or perhaps this type of dialogue of hiding your self-expression was instilled into your psyche, into your subconscious as you remained obliviously unaware. Maybe kids at school, they teased you for your hair or for your performance or maybe parents told you that it was much safer for you to take a path that didn't involve drama or theater or something more creative or maybe friends of yours sometimes feared that you would upstage them and so they were vicious and they were mean and they were petty or they caused drama even or maybe growing up people just didn't want to play with you so you were part of the club or quite perhaps your family told you that you couldn't sing or something like this or maybe you expressing yourself would stir up uncomfortable maybe you expressing yourself would stir up uncomfortable emotions from within other people but you know what whichever way this may or may not have played out some in the 12th house they were really in the 12th house individuals we are noticing the, the hiding away the locking away of your creativity and your self expression and of your glow and your ego from the clear view of other people. Yes, you might glow behind the scenes or you might glow whenever it's just you chilling without feeling eyes on you. But what I think that you're coming to realize is that your glow doesn't just, it doesn't fade away when others become involved. And that you don't have to dim yourself just to make other people feel comfortable with having you around. Nor do you have to shift and change your personality. Now don't get me wrong, these things may also be a part of your character as well. After all, it is you who is able to actually shine your light on others and help other people glow. So for example, you can be very good at giving generously to others. You can be very good at cheering them up or you can be very good at celebrating other people with so much enthusiasm and of that generosity. Basically, you can be so great at making other people feel seen and validated and heard. And whilst yes, this could very well be a part of your purpose or a part of your spiritual mission, so to speak, but the moment that you start becoming so far removed from your ego, you can spiral into a world full of uncertainty and insecurity. Likewise, you might also have the tendency of depending on others to keep feeding your ego, but it becomes this bottomless pit where no amount of validation or applause or approval from others will ever be good enough for you. See, the trick here, I think, is how to feel satisfied with who you are in the first place without necessarily seeking after this reassurance that tells you, I am good enough or that this creative project looks great for example. Don't get me wrong, it's great to be applauded and approved for what we put out there into the world, for what we create, but the reality is that not everybody is going to approve, not everybody is going to be as enthusiastic about something as you, 
not everybody is going to like you and not everybody is going to believe in your journey or your mission and that's okay which by the way can i also just say here that you might find that you have a few hidden secret enemies who they may feel a bit insecure around you and this may be, not be something that you are actually aware of because after all you may have this thing about you where you don't necessarily see your light or see your glow but still other people may see it it's just that you're not necessarily seeing it so yeah maybe you don't actually recognize within yourself just how influential you can be so are you going to let the opinions of others stop you from creating or from sharing your individuality? I hope not. Though, to be fair, this advice is something that I've struggled with myself. As someone with Leo ruling my 12th house within my chart, I remember being at school and having other kids cringe at my performances. I remember being teased. I remember feeling very alone. But I never stop trying to express myself. And neither should you, son in the 12th house, Leo, ruling the 12th house individuals, because you might have something really, really special to offer the world, but yet it's your own fears of being ridiculed, being rejected, not being noticed, not being appreciated, all these different inner fears that you may hold within yourself that can keep you back. Which can I also just say that your imagination is probably very colourful and wild and bright and vibrant. You might even dream of becoming a performer one day or being a star one day or being an artist or even a parent. Which can I also just say, you might actually possess this inner confidence and this inner radiance about you that doesn't necessarily need to be shown outwardly. It doesn't necessarily need to be expressed outwardly. It's just something that you hold within yourself, but yet at the same time, you might not even notice or recognize these things about you either. So yeah, maybe for some of you, you like to create mixtapes behind the scenes, or maybe for some of you, you like to write stories that are fan fantasy related or stories that are mysterious and magical but yet it's these very things that okay maybe you do keep them to yourself and you feel as if you don't need to prove these things to anybody you don't need to impress anyone or brag to anybody about what it is that you're creating which also following on from this point you may see through that whole illusion when it comes to gratification or when it comes to being validated you may kind of be like, well, that's subjective whenever you're being validated or seen for something that you create. I mean, that the, the validation from whoever it is is coming from their own filters and their own perspectives as well. So yeah, you may kind of look deeper more so into what it actually means to be applauded by others. Then again, perhaps what many people don't know about you is that you're a secret romantic and that you have many dreamy crushes from afar. On the other hand though, maybe you experience secretive behind the scenes love affairs, the types of romances that are very much hidden from others or the types of romances that are unattainable. Maybe it's a situation where you can't be together with a particular individual. Though, essentially, I think that underneath, you deeply, deeply, deeply desire to be loved. You desire to be wanted, to be with someone who you can give your heart to, somebody who you really can merge with romantically. Maybe sometimes you can feel a lot of even pain and suffering due to heartbreak or due to you feeling disconnected or unseen yourself could even be suggested here that you didn't have the closest bond with your father growing up or maybe you struggled for a lot of your life with loving yourself or just with self-acceptance. Perhaps you even find it hard to release any heartache that you feel, especially if you're someone who continuously ponders over the should-haves and the could-have-beens. And so for you, maybe you struggle to grasp 
concept of love or this concept of just letting go of love or letting people move on or maybe you love so deeply that you fear that no other person will ever understand you. Ultimately, I think that you can be somebody who just gives unconditionally. Now, in terms of the aliveness here, you might be someone who feels truly alive whenever you're alone, whenever you're creating. So whenever you're in that creative space, you just come to life, you just, you light up. And also whenever you're escaping into that world, just disconnected from reality, you light up. Though with that being said, just be cautious of the tendency with you. Um, when it comes to how you escape, because you might escape by indulging in the likes of sex or gambling, partying, shopping, drinking, these types of things. Um, so I would say be aware because that aliveness that you feel from doing these things might dim fairly quickly if you're not careful. And also remember to check in with your loved ones as well <laughs> to not only see how they're doing but to also let them know how you're doing because I think that you may often become a little bit too comfortable with your own company sometimes. <laughs> Typical hermit, uh, meaning that you can be a secluse, <laughs> son of the 12th house, Leo of the 12th house individuals. So just remember to reach out and fill people in on what's going on with you. Um, then again, maybe this is something you prefer. I mean, you're gonna do what you wanna do at the end of the day. <laughs> but this is another thing with you that I wanna mention is that you may have this tendency of deflecting attention away from yourself. So you might be the type of person who is happy enough to listen to somebody else's story without necessarily sharing your own story. And if this is the case, others in turn feel, like I said, very seen. They feel so seen by you, which again is such a powerful thing about you. But what about your story? What about the things that you've experienced along your journey? Though to be fair, I think that for a lot of your life, you've been made to feel as if your story doesn't matter. But still, I think that by you getting over these fears, these internal fears of being approved and being applauded, you can in turn tell your stories and share of yourself with much more confidence and much more self-assurance. Yes, I think it's great that you can shine your light on other people and you know how to merge with other people, but by also serving off yourself or by glowing outwardly, then I think that you can magnetize things and make the present situation that you're in even greater, even bigger. So for example, don't be afraid to change the topic of discussion if you want to or don't be afraid to tell somebody else that you're running late or that you can't talk to them right now or don't be afraid to talk over somebody even if you need to. Basically, don't be afraid of taking the lead or of directing attention away from somebody else and bringing it to yourself if you want to. And to be honest, I think that you know <laughs> internally what you want to let out most of the time but it's just that you can have this tendency of holding yourself back of kind of sacrificing yourself martyring yourself your own identity your own individuality for other people again it's also such a powerful thing about you but at the same time there is this tendency with you of just completely avoiding like avoiding all attention. Plus, I also think that you may just sacrifice yourself if you feel sorry for others or you might pity others who you feel aren't being given enough attention themselves, maybe because you know how it feels. But ultimately, Sun in the 12th house, Leo ruling the 12th house individuals, maybe what you're coming to learn is how to serve over your ego, serve over your individuality and your creativity and your self-expression rather than constantly 
falling victim to these false narratives, these false beliefs that tell you that you're not liked or that you're not good enough. But at the same time, I also think that yes, you are a great source, a great source of light to those who feel lost and misguided themselves, to those who feel invisible just like you felt invisible throughout your life and it's you who can really dive very very deep with others through the likes of healing, astrology, tarot, spirituality, acting, singing, writing, art, whatever and who knows maybe by you taking the plunge to put yourself out there more which by the way you can be a great channeler when it comes to creatively expressing spiritual subjects and you can even possibly awaken the inner child in others where like I said they feel validated and they feel truly seen due to your insights but yeah maybe by you taking the plunge or by you glowing outwardly or by you bringing aliveness to the collective maybe others connect with your message in a way that you never thought possible but hey there's only one way to find out right okay then cosmic warriors so that concludes my video on the glow applause and aliveness of those of you who have your sun within your 12th house and also for those of you who have the sign of Leo ruling your 12th house within your natal birth chart. Now if you happen to have any of these placements then let us know what you thought of the video in the comment section down below. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing and if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed then go right ahead and click that subscribe button. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye.